Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. I am probably going to make today video day, and I'm just sitting around listening to some music. I really won't have too much time in uh, the remainder of this week to uh, make a lot of videos. Uh, sometimes I'm just trying to take some time out in the morning, pop a couple videos, but it got so late in the day today, I didn't really have time to... Um, that I felt that needed to uh, get a few other things done. So <clears throat> what I wanted to start doing is trying to make some, what I'm going to call them pro tip, pro tip videos, if I can say that, pro tip videos for all. those new denture wearers out there. I know that there's a lot of seasoned people the seasoned denture wearers out there and you might already have your denture kit at your office or in your purse or in the car um, and there may be some seasoned uh, denture wearers that you have no concept of what I'm talking about so <clears throat> what I want to go through is and explain what I found useful in the situation where say you're out somewhere and your denture adhesive fails. Now, fix a dent is the only denture adhesive that I found that makes like a travel size uh, tube. And I apologize, I have not bought any yet, um, so I don't have one to show you. And um, so I have my little kit that I decided to put together and throw in my car. So if I'm ever out at a restaurant again and my dentures give up, give denture adhesive give up, and I can't wear my dentures because they're too loose. I can't eat with them, and I decide, okay, it's, I got to stick them in my pocket and gum it. That's basically the idea. So it's almost like a think of it as like an emergency uh, kit to get your uh, dent the denture adhesive <clears throat> out of your mouth while you're out of the house. That's, when I, that's my pro tip today. And when I went and bought my fresh and bright pack of denture paste, I got this little brush. And it's not that big. My hands aren't that huge. I mean, most guys have bigger hands than me. This is a great little brush. You can take, put, put uh, I got a little travel tube of uh, regular toothpaste. I can put it on here and brush the denture adhesive out of my mouth because the last time when we were at a Vietnamese restaurant I was trying to use paper towels and hot water none of it worked and I got maybe three quarters of the denture adhesive out of my mouth and I ended up just going back and trying to eat my soup with what was left and I probably ended up consuming a lot of the denture adhesive that was still stuck to my gums and uh, like I say, my dentures were really loose at that time. I hadn't had, I hadn't gotten my first soft green line yet. Um, this was a few weeks after, right before my soft green line, about a week before, I want to say. And um, <clears throat> I really had, didn't know about this. So I'm eating hot soup. Nobody talked about this. I didn't even think about it. I'm in there eating some hot soup, enjoying myself. I get into about the fourth or fifth spoonful and bam, my top and lower denture let loose. Had I not had my mouth closed, they would have ended up right in that soup on the table. And, you know, it was so embarrassing to have to tell my wife, I'm about to, you know, as I'm rushing off from the table, she doesn't understand what's going on. My son's right behind me because he, he, I don't know if he figured out what was going on or he thought, well, he just wanted to be nosy, you know. He runs in the bathroom with me. I pull out my dentures. All the adhesive is all over my gums, all in my mouth. I can't get it out. I'm grabbing paper towel after paper towel. I probably used three quarters of a roll of paper that they had in the bathroom, wiping denture adhesive out of my mouth trying to gargle with the hottest water I could get out of the sink in order to try and break up some of that um, denture adhesive. None of it really worked, you know. 
So <clears throat> I took my dentures, wrapped them in a paper towel, threw them in my pocket, and hoped and prayed that I didn't break them. Went back to the table, um, tried to eat the best I could, and used some of the napkins that were at the table to wipe out some of the dentary adhesive out of my mouth. It was, it was a horrible experience, you know, uh, as you can imagine. So what I suggest, <clears throat> take a little travel tube of regular toothpaste. I don't need fluoridated uh, fluoride toothpaste. You know, I don't have any teeth. I normally use non-fluoride toothpaste, but um, this is what I had on hand at home, so I didn't have to go out and buy anything. But if you have a travel toothpaste at home or a little packet like this, these, I think these were... Uh, we got these at a hotel or something like that. We've had them for a while. We don't probably plan on using them. I thought, hey, this is this will be perfect to put into a little snack bag. Put it in here along with my uh, denture brush that I'll use to basically remove the denture adhesive from my gums. Throw that in there. <clears throat> What I've talked about before is an alternative to mouthwash. Now, mouthwash does not remove the denture adhesive from my gums. It'll soften it to where I could take a hand towel and I can wipe my gums and get that denture adhesive out. Because it's, it, with my saliva, for some reason, the denture adhesive doesn't dry. It just turns to like a gel. And that's what denture adhesive is technically made to do so it can keep your dentures in but if you heat up your dentures with hot soup or a hot food they may come loose you know so I just want to put this out there um, for everybody because I don't like eating cold food you know so what I've also done is while we're out I just grab these little packets of salt and I got three of them here just in case but you can take one of these packets, uh, grab a, uh, a glass of uh, water, you know, ask the waiter or waitress, whoever. Usually, typically I ask for water when I order my meal. So I just grab my water cup, I can throw this salt in there, and I can use it as a mouth rinse. Okay, so if my gums become irritated, if I have to use the paper towels, what I found is the paper towels really irritated my gums. The salt, for some reason, really helps soothe that irritation and will help your gums heal you know and um i have high blood pressure but you got to do what you got to do so you got to balance out am i going to eat a bunch of adhesive or do i want to try and rinse out my mouth as best i can and hopefully get rid of that uh denture adhesive in there now i've tried salt water and it does work for me okay and so it may not work for you you may need a little travel size bottle mouthwash scope i believe makes a travel size just look around you know you'll you'll find something uh i know listerine makes a travel size but it's in a glass bottle i mean i don't want to carry a glass bottle around with me and <clears throat> you know throw it in a ziploc along with your toothbrush your little salt now um, because let's say okay you go to a restaurant your dentures fall out you're in my situation um, you're relatively new maybe your gums are hurting uh, whatever reason for whatever reason that night for whatever reason I couldn't get my dentures to stand without the heat adhesive so that's why I ended up wrapping them up with a paper towel and putting them in my pocket. And I didn't want to give them to my wife because I didn't want my son to get in her purse and try and play with them. He might break them. He doesn't realize that he's very young. He's only two. I, you know, as many times as I tell him, please don't play with daddy's teeth, he's going to want to play with them. And he has interest in them for some oddball reason. So what I thought about, uh, you know, is carrying a little Ziploc with a um, hand towel in here. I can wet this hand towel, wrap up my dentures, put them in the Ziploc, and that's going to keep my 
denture from drying out. Possibly if it's hot outside from warping, hopefully, um, you know, hopefully I don't have to leave them in the car. Hopefully I can just stick them in my pocket like I've done and just be conscious of the fact that they're there. You, typically what I do is I take them out of my pocket. When I sit in the car, I put them on the passenger seat or I put them in the cup holder and I'll take them and put them back in my pocket when I go into the house or I go somewhere. Um, I try not to leave my dentures in the car because it gets too hot. They're going to warp. They, they're plastic. They could melt. Okay. So I don't leave them in the car. I don't suggest leaving them in the car at all. Uh, but these are just a little couple things that you could, I just throw these in the door of my car. Uh, so I always have them with me in case something happens. Heck, if I just, if I'm out and, um, want to say brush my gums say i ate something that was sweet or sticky i can pull my dentures out i can grab that denture brush um, i can run some warm water and clean off my dentures and uh, clean off my gums and pop them back in my mouth it's it's really in my opinion a great idea for especially for us new denture wearers okay and this didn't cost me anything you know, it cost hardly anything to set up this little kit. Now, like I said, I had travel tooth. We had travel toothpaste. I had some salt packets that we collected from when we go out. You get the little um, plastic ware, and that usually comes with a salt and pepper. That's what that is. So, you know, I don't throw those away. I just throw them in a Ziploc, throw them up in, in the cabinet. Because uh, when I used to work... Uh, a lot of times there was no salt and pepper available on the job site. You had to bring that with you. So that I bring a little salt packet with me or a little pepper packet, depending on what I need or what I'm eating. And so I had a bunch of these just left over laying around the house. And uh, they're going to come in handy for my dentures now. So that is my pro tip for you today. I hope uh, everybody is healthy and happy. And of course, if you're in your natural teeth, brush them if you got them, floss them if you got them, not, and brush them, you know. Uh, and, and trust me, if you're flossing, uh, a cheap brush is just as good as a $20 brush, okay? Because those brushes don't remove the plaque from your teeth. You need that floss to do that. Get that bacteria out of your mouth. Do your little salt water rinse. You don't necessarily have to go and spend $10 on the... There's a whole slew of mouthwashes out there. Save your money. Just do some salt water rinses, okay? Cost you a couple pennies to, to make up a cup at home. Or you can get some salt where you're out and, and enjoy your day. Go forward. So I hope this tip helps you out. Uh, if you have any comments, you have any ideas, or maybe you do something different, <clears throat> go ahead and drop me a comment because I'd like for everybody to see that. Let's learn from everybody's experience as a denture wearer. Let's, let's get those tips out there for people. It's not about making money. Um, let's help each other out. You know, I'm a new denture wearer, 34 days in now, going on my 35th day. And, uh, you know, these little things to me are, you know, this would have been a lifesaver that day. That's all I'm saying. You know, so take care of YouTube and thank you for watching.